So guys, we've decided to do a little different uh, type of video here. Um, so we're making end tables to match our uh, entertainment center that we built. Uh, I did a video on that a while back. If you guys haven't checked it out, maybe check it out. And uh, so we bought two of these Singer sewing machines um, and we were going to start wire wheeling on it, but then we realized that it's very, very crusty. So what we're going to do is take it apart. We've uh, sprayed it with penetrating oil to let it uh, soak. Uh, and that's not what we're doing a review on. But uh, we're going to take it apart and we're going to test out this product here. So right here we got Evapo Rust. Um, Mikey uh, was seeing if there's a way to get rid of rust without wire wheeling or sanding it. Because usually that's Mikey's job. Uh, my job is to take it apart. My dad's job is to figure out what we want. Mikey's job is to wire wheel sand and then we put it back together. So Mikey found this stuff online. Uh, we got it from uh, Tractor Supply. Uh, it's Evapro Rust, and it says super safe rust remover. And uh, like it's it's uh, well, yeah. So we're going to uh, fill up a container with it, take this apart, and let it soak to see how good it is. Uh, usually we just again wire wheel it sand it whatever we never really like there's times we still have some rust on so we've decided to try this see how this works out and uh, just wanted to bring you guys along so I don't know if you guys could tell but this is this is quite uh, rusty like uh, you could see it's a little darker here because we sprayed these but um, we did cut the top already, but it rusted over again. But like, if you look here, it's very like, well, that actually might, well, we don't even need to take that apart. But like, if you look at these screws and stuff, or, or bolts, they're really, really tight and it's really rusty. And we're usually, we're using these parts. So I'll show you these parts. Here's the before. And we're going to have to get, take this apart and uh, I'll get back to you once we take it apart. Alright guys, so uh, I'm on the porch because I don't know if you can tell it's wet. It's been raining all day. So I brought this bin because we had it all in the back. So I, you know, so that's why that's wet also. But I dumped the three gallons that I got in. I don't know if I need a little more, probably, but I'm pretty sure the three will be fine. So the pieces that I got now I'm going to put in are, they're mainly the pieces that we need that we're going to use for the uh table so I got the as you can see it's all crusty and it's been rained on which is all right because this stuff is like uh, I think like water uh, whatever it's water based that's what I that's what I meant anywho so I'm gonna uh, slap these uh, three four pieces however many pieces we need in here and uh, I'm gonna put a lid on it to help it not evaporate because we don't have that much and then tomorrow uh, we'll uh, get back to you to see how these are so here we go and the tub it doesn't really fit all the way in so we're probably gonna have to you know kinda rotate it or angle it different so but at least we could tell, you know, all that here is it emerged and this isn't, so we could definitely see the difference. Yeah, uh, we'll probably do one at a time. All right. 
We're gonna have to do one at a time. So guys, it's been uh, 24 hours and uh, it's time to take the lid off. I didn't put the one piece in so we could get like a before and after. So here's the one piece and I'm gonna take out the other piece. Uh, I'll just take out the whole thing. So uh, we saw that you could get a rag for bigger pieces and this wheel was up so we just took this rag, dunked it in and set it in. And as you could see the color did change before it was like a uh, I would say like an antifreeze type color, like the, a greenish. Now it's, you know, a lot darker. So I'm gonna take this off, just set it in there. But here's the one piece. And the cool thing about this is, as you see, there's orange here. So it had paint on it. This doesn't take away paint. So we're gonna have to sand the paint and stuff. And you can see there was like black paint on it already. So here's the before, then here's the after. So so as you see, this stuff works uh, quite well. And uh, I don't know if there's like you could like I don't know how long you actually leave them in but we just left them in overnight let it sit and so now we gotta rinse it off clean it off and um, well put it together like as in the end table so I'm gonna set this piece in now oh and the uh, foot pedal here's the foot pedal that little spot here was left out of it so I'll probably just flip this and get that piece in but other than that it's it's this works real well and you could use it for automotive stuff so it, it just and since it doesn't take away the uh, doesn't really take away the uh, paint you could probably get away with uh, um, you could probably get away with uh, um, dipping something with paint in and you know keeping the original paint or if you want to uh, you know change the color it to be easier to just get the rust off than clean the paint off in my opinion but it saves a whole well, I know you wait 24 hours, but it saves a whole lot of time with sanding and wire wheeling and, and you know, it, I feel like this is safer anyhow, because then you don't have to worry about like any uh, wire wheel brushes. So here it is after uh, paint, of course, but um, after we used that evapo rust, we uh, uh, washed it off with uh, dish soap and we dried it off let it sit for a day and when we painted uh, as you see it stuck really good and like it you know it, it doesn't like usually when we wire wheel or sand or sand it and wire wheel it you kind of see marks from the wire wheel or sanding but this evapo rust saved us a whole lot of time and so this is where we're at now uh, we still got more to do we are going to add wood pieces to the side and a glass top and a glass for right here that's why we added these little things for it to sit on so uh, this is where we're at now so now we got to finish so guys here it is um, it's a couple of uh, weeks later we just wanted to see how well the paint holds on to the material after you know the evaporust uh i highly recommend it because it's still holding on good it we did have to sand some parts but that's because of welding and because of the burrs from the weld so we sanded it 
just to clean up the burrs to make it look cleaner but it saved a lot of time and I'm actually working on a go-kart and a mini bike now so I'm actually using the Evapo Rust for rusty parts on those too so I highly recommend it and it saves a lot of time usually what I do is before heading to work I'll throw the stuff in and then the next day when I'm ready to work on the stuff I'll pull it out and work on it so uh, here it is here's the uh, finished product of the table uh, we made another one just like it these are their end tables to match our uh, uh, center our, uh, our uh, entertainment center and uh, make sure to like and uh, leave a comment and I hope you guys enjoyed your cruise down to Lashman Road.